Can you tell me what's E flat minus a half? E flat minus a half is D. Yes. So what I'm doing is giving every musical definition a math definition. So we're looking at the piano as a number line. Mm -hmm. Addition means you count this way. Subtraction means you count this way. All right. This strikes me as not dissimilar. Like a real mathematician would also have an innate sense of an equation feeling right or feeling wrong. That's right. Yes, that's right. Like yes. the numbers have a shape at a certain mm -hmm. point, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, you're kind of directly applying synesthesia. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. D plus half is um, D sharp. How many have you counted so far? I've counted three. Okay. And D sharp plus half is E, and E E E plus half is F. I've counted four. So you counted four. Utopian Academy is a unique school. And that is in part because Artesius has found innovative teachers who are cultivating new methods of instruction. Meet Marcus Blackwell, the pianist and mathematician behind Make Music Count, a new mathematics curriculum combining algebra and piano playing. Make Music Count equates mathematic values to piano keys, and every time a student solves an expression, well... There we go. Right. That sounds right, too. Uh, exactly, <laughs> and that's the point. If it sounds right, that means your math is right. Where did you get the impetus to do this? What, what inspired you at the beginning? This is a solution to my own uh, intimidation of mathematics that I had when I was growing up. A lot of times I was told that I wasn't supposed to be good at math, but I loved math. And so what made sense was playing the piano. I played the piano since I was five, classical, jazz, and, and gospel. And it's always just been an interest to yeah. me to see how math and music connected. And so what I did was when I went to Morehouse for undergrad, I uh, was like, okay, I need to get this idea out of my head, you know, but I have the music background, but I need the math background. So what I did was I said, well, if this is going to be real, I need to use my music to really get over my intimidation and I'm going to major in mathematics. Wow. <laughs> I, switched <laughs> my ma I switched my major from business to math. And so I just had an epiphany one evening. I was at my piano and I was trying to put together music terms and math terms just to see what would happen. And I just saw something and I yeah. said, okay, that is what I'm looking for. Yeah. But it didn't become real, like learning an actual example until I actually went and tested it out. Um, with kids. With kids. Yeah. I went to my first school. I said, hey, I've got an idea. Can I try it out with your students? And I had this big old long equation that I was showing them. And the lady, she was like, this is nice, but can you just teach them two chains on the piano? Like right. a, a song we'd know. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then it, that's how, you know, it just, I was able to relate it to the students. I said, okay, so instead of doing what I brought, yeah. We're going to learn a song that you already know and then apply the, the math to it. B flat, F, and D flat, mm -hmm. and then C, mm -hmm. G sharp, E flat. Oh, that sounds great. <laughs> exactly, exactly. exactly. <laughs> Want me to play it first and then you Yeah, play? please, because okay, I'm not going to get fast. So enough it just goes this. like this. <laughs> And it's just repeating That's over so and over satisfying. again. That's so satisfying. Right, exactly. <laughs> so then, then it becomes band rehearsal. Right. Because you've done the math, now it's just putting it to, all together. But of course, if you do this enough, you start to really understand that the underlying structure of all of these songs is relatively simple. Right. And you get this right. beautiful complexity right. out of it. Each reveals the other. Exactly. The math reveals what's in the music and the music reveals what's in the math. That's Absolutely. fantastic. Yeah. What's happening is that after they learn an example, they'll go home and say, they'll come back and say, hey, can we do this song? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can we do this song? Can we do this song? It's like, well, sure. but. There's more math to learn. They're like, yeah, that's fine, that's fine. <laughs> but it's a complete attitude change. You know, yeah. before, these kids wouldn't even attempt to do this at all. Right. You know, now it's math is now, it's no problem. Right. You know, and and that's, that's, the, that's what we want. You know, this is about changing our attitude towards mathematics using music. And the kids are absolutely loving it. Flat. 